Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be doing a minimal install of Debian. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Head over to the Debian homepage and right from the homepage you can get the basic standard installer right here or you can go into other downloads. There are options for installers with different desktop environments, different architectures. I'm going to be using the mini installer, which is a base network installer. It will boot the installation and then from there it will go out to Debian's repositories to get the packages to install the base system. So I've already downloaded that. I'm going to go ahead and open up my terminal here and we're going to actually use DD to copy the boot image over to a USB drive. All right, make that a little bigger. All right. And as you can see, I've got SDB here. So that's going to be my second device. So I'm going to use the DD command to get the image over there. And I just want to warn everyone when you're running this command that you need to be extremely careful that your arguments are right and you have your destination and source right for your copy. Otherwise, you could destroy your disk. And this is something where I'm just going to run a, a basic command to copy it over there. Uh, we, there are definitely a lot more arguments and there's quite a bit to how DD works. And we'll get into that in a later video. For now, we'll just be doing a basic uh, copy. So what you need to do is make sure that it is not mounted. So if you do have a USB and it auto mounts, you want to unmount it before you run DD on it. This is not mounted because I've already wiped it. So we're all set there. So if I check my downloads here, there I've got the mini ISO. All right. So, uh, syntax here is dd, and then you have input file, and that's in my downloads folder, mini.iso, and then my destination here, which is output file, OF, and that is s slash dev slash sdb. All right, and here you can add some other arguments to set the block size, or you can even uh, do a status check. So we'll go ahead and we'll just do status, and that's not with a dash, status equals progress. All right, and just double check and make sure that you are writing to the right drive, which we are, and go ahead and hit enter. And that command needs sudo. And this is not a very big installation image, so it should only take, you know, not, e not even more, more than, a, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Now, if you're running something that's several gigs, it's going to take a while to finish, so you'll need to give it time to complete. Now we're all set. We should have our image on our USB and ready to go. The only thing is now is that I need to get it off of this machine. Yep, and we can see we have parti our partition table intact there, ready to go. All right, so now I just need to go ahead and get this moved over to our target virtual machine. We're gonna be using Proxmox and install it on a virtual machine over there. Uh, obviously, if you're doing a physical machine, you're gonna to have to take your USB and plug it in the machine you're gonna install on, boot, and make sure that you boot from that USB drive to bring up the installer. So go ahead and go over here. Okay, so now that we have that all set and we have USB actually hooked up to the VM we want to install on, go ahead and jump over here to the Virtual Machine Console and we're going to go ahead and boot up. Keep that full screen. And this is what you get when the image boots. So we're going to go ahead and select install that a little bit of time to load up. Okay, and then this is all pretty straightforward here. Go ahead and select English, my language, my region, keyboard layout. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab an address over DHCP because I have it running for this network. 
and we'll just go ahead and leave it at Debian. Change yours to whatever you'd like. We are not going to actually be adding a domain, so we can just leave that blank. And we want to grab mirrors from the US because that's where I'm at. And this is fine. We're not going to be using a proxy. All right, and then we'll go ahead and start grabbing the files we need to get the installer running. Okay, and once you have your files, now you can go ahead and set your root password. And confirm your password. And now here you can put in a user. And set your user password. And choose your time zone. It's going to go ahead and get ready to set up the partitioner. And we are just going to leave it at the default and let Debian set it up for us. There's definitely a lot of options you can choose where you can do some manual partitioning and do some customized stuff. Uh, you can use LVM. We'll get into that in later videos. For now, we're just going to give us what Debian selects. And actually, we want to go back. We want to use the entire disk. And then we want to choose our hard disk, which is actually this one. The 16 gigabyte is our USB disk. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at the default. And here we just need to confirm. Uh, and at this point, you just want to make sure that you have the right disk selected and that you're completely sure because there's actually going to be some writes to the disk. So once you are satisfied, go ahead and click finish partitioning. And you do get one final warning. Okay, and then it will start installing all the base packages. We'll probably speed this up. Now that that's all set, we come to this part of the installer, basically checking uh, status on the number of people that have packages installed. You can definitely go to Debian site and read more about this and decide if that's something you like to do on your system. For this install, we're just going to go ahead and say no. And then here we're going to run into our options as far as we can choose some pre-selected desktops or we can even deselect them, which is what we're going to do here. We're going to leave standard system utilities and we want SSH. So we'll go ahead and set those options. Go ahead and continue. And from here, we're going to be grabbing the files, getting ready to finish up the install. So we'll go ahead and come back when that's done. Okay, and now that's all set. Now we are being prompted if we want to go ahead and install the bootloader. And since this is the only install on our system, we're not dual booting or anything, we can safely say yes without worrying about anything else. And here with Debian, it actually makes you go through and choose the correct disk. In our case, it's going to be our virtual disk here. The QEMU disk. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then it's going to go ahead and finish installing the bootloader. And from here, now it's going to go ahead and let us know that we can boot into our new system. Okay, and it finished installing the bootloader. So now I've gone ahead and removed the USB here, and we can go ahead and reboot into our new system. And now we have our minimal install of Debian. So in the upcoming video, I'd like to show you how to do a minimal GNOME install. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and like, and uh, thanks for watching.